hello welcome to multinet design in this section in this series we are going to create graphical representation of section so we are going to make use of section to divide and get a roof trusses across this place so let's start go to floor plan on your floor plan click on you can use this section on your uh, tools bar or you can look, go to view and select section from here so choose any one section then you draw across the area you want your section to be visible so click here so you have section across this place so here you can go to your go to your building section but because I've been created already for you or you can the same at the same time click on this part and say right click and say go to view okay when you click that that you automatically upload this particular one because you are seeing it with both letters there so this is section that you have created it is more easy and reasonable here because why you have done some detailed work from beginning like your foundation when you are creating you well, you brought all this work from the upper level to the foundation level so this one make it more easy now look at the bed is higher which is something that is wrong because of the graphical representation so what you need to do is to you can use arrow key to bring it down by pressing your arrow key down key arrow to bring it down to a level that okay this is the level you want now and a few other one is applicable so you look at it and begin to do what annotation representation the first thing you do is that you do you fill up this space and how do you do that go to your your annotation and you are you annotate so on the annotate look for insulation so in your insulation you use it to draw your use this to draw your foundation uh, like hardcore or what you want to do so here you select it it's a tiny bit but you know the height between this and uh, your ground level is 800 mm so here you edit it say 800 so when you click it you see you are overtaking the whole space so continue like that so click click on create similar when you click on create similar you don't need to edit the insulation from this part again so it's already update itself so you draw that across do not let it be drawn across the wall so just draw it within the space that is available so with this one you have already created the hardcore representation level for your uh, sectional building so the next thing is that we want to bring a sanity of trusses to this so what do you need to do you can check some of our course on this video we did something like that but here we want to do something similar and creative so click on copy the roof and bring this roof from the top bring it to the next one below at this junction what you need to do here is to click edit when you click on edit go to level one or any part you see yourself go to the place open what you want to concentrate is just on the roof so what you do here is to offset without copy click toggle on the copy so let it go and you offset it by 200 mm so from there you offset it inward the reason for offset is that we don't want all the trusses to be swing outside the roof parts so you offset it inside you have set it inside all up all around good so as you've done that say click on finish say no do not attach it so here now you change it from this has been selected eh? you still go to there you go to change it to slope glazing let it transformed to slope glazing after you transform to group blessing, you can now go to your section and go and look at what you have done. Did you see? 
so this is slow glazing that has been done now if you are the type that did not see this particular these uh, trusses in your building what you need to do is to go to edit type edit type you fix all this pattern grid line one sometimes it used to be none if you click on none you see all those things will not be appear let me demonstrate it for you so when you click on none all those things will not be appear they will not be there because that's how it come on a default click on it and see okay say okay something is there is giving information but anytime you see something like that that say okay no 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 what you need to do okay so this particular one is news okay so what you just need to do is to select your select all those things and returning back to a normal graphic empty panel the fixed line of uh, fixed distance you just make sure that you edit them and get them back to where they're supposed to be you should work on them one after the other one work on each one of one of them after the others so by the time you are getting your to say okay you already pick So I like say okay, that's no matter. Good. So here you have all your trusses. So any any cross section you cross now, you are going to have it there. So the next thing is that you put there should be ceiling all across this space. So go to your ceiling level. Level one of the ceiling ceiling plan. Here now you go to architecture and go to ceiling. At the ceiling you remove take the height to 2800 mm so here i want to use sketch because i don't want to cross cross across the across all walls so walls should be wall ceiling should be ceiling so you begin to draw them one after the other all the trade that you have rectangle you do it especially the when you are doing your the place that section is needed we can decide to do it and leave the remaining parts like that but you know the, the position of section you have to cover it up so when you click like that so you do the same thing for the whole area and say select so when you go to your section back now you see the ceiling is being created and half a space that it's work workable so edit the boundary there's something wrong in that area so reflecting on the ceiling level one view so it did not read the the work points so click and say finish so go back there and you see that this place is being covered so that is how you do your work your silly design your sectional design on a revit so if you want to hide some of this uh, particular you use a graphical representative to hide this one so they will not be showing you will just have a normal i'd send you edit this space for so, this you go beyond the scope of this particular thing so you do that and you do what you want to do if you want to write a letter the same way on your annotate go to annotate bring a letter from here the text sorry click on text on the text now you just write what you want to write like okay say 50 by 50 roof just say roof style so you begin to put everything you want to write then from there you use your you use your annotate you just line detail start putting all this roof trusses skin post long post things like that so that is just the way to quickly do the sectional plan so you know in our next lesson which is next topic we're going to do more on the proper section of the building so the same way you write copy here and put all this into perspective by using this is bedroom you write it if it's bedroom you write bedroom go to here say bedroom 
okay like that so this same thing here Dupli copy or duplicate just copy it and put it here this one will be dining and this one will be terrace so just let's do a little bit of graphic work terrace you know that to write it all because let's put terrace representation okay So adjust it. Yeah, this is tiny. Control A on the keyboard. Say tiny. Okay. We bring it to somewhere close. So that is how you do your line. After which you should zoom to it. You have what you need to have here. So section is being created and every other thing so the graphical representation if you want it to be more thick or something like that follow the the rules of what we have done and you get them in the accurate manner so that is how you draw your section on a revit